Hello, my name is Agatha and today is the 29th of November 2016 and I'm going to do a um, channel reading for Donald Trump. I'm going to use the pictorial key Tarot uh, and I'm going to use the Celtic Cross which is a 10 card reading and the, the period of time is from it for the next six months. So uh, what is the future? For Donald Trump from December 2016 to May 2017. Okay, what is the future for or what what does the future hold for Donald Trump for the next six months from uh, December 2016 to May 2017? Okay, so I have no idea. You know what's going to happen what's not going to happen so let's see let's just see okay significator that which is not seen the basis the past influencing the present with what is in his mind or what he wants the near future and again this is the time frame is six months so okay him others or the environment which surrounds him and then wish or advice oh there's two cards for that so it's 11 card reading and the final outcome which is this one okie dokie let's see so significator or the general theme Ooh. Okay, he's happy. <laughs> he's happy. This is a happy family. Uh, this this card depicts ha happy family life. It's the ten of cups. It's like the most happy you can be in terms emotionally. He's very happy. There's like at least let's or if it's not happiness, it's like lots and lots of feelings, lots and lots of emotions. But to me, this is a happy card. At least he's happy with his family. Okay. That which is not, is, is not yet seen. We the nine of wands. So what is not seen is that you have to defend this position. You have to defend something. You have to defend that which has been achieved. And I have no idea what is this. Okay, it could be something to do with the fact that he's president elect as of now 29 of november or it could be something to do with his business so he's defending something i'm thinking something which has already been achieved uh it could be you know another lawsuit Ugh, i don't know it could be something like that it's like a, a very strong like defensive mechanism what is the basis hmm Six of Wands, it's victory. So whatever he's defending has to do with the victory that he had. Disclaimer, I have to put this disclaimer. I'm Portuguese from Portugal. Therefore, I do not vote in your election, in American elections. I was hoping for um, Mrs. Clinton to win. And I think that Mr. Trump winning is a terrible thing. So I need to put this in here for you to understand my perspective. Okay, um, I need to be clear. So, moving on. So, what is the past influencing the present? The Nine of Swords. So, was he worried? He might have been worried, but this is a woman. So, um, maybe uh, if there's any type of worrying, maybe women worried him. Or uh, something connected with women. No, no, that famous tape. Um, he's, he's, he's a bit of a misogynist, right? He's, so all the heartache he caused women, that, that was something that might have worried him in terms of, I'm thinking elections, but maybe overall. Uh, a woman worrying him, a woman, um, a woman who was troubled, also might have influenced 
him or might have uh, had a negative effect upon him or there's some kind of worry just connected to him in the past was he worried that he would win was he worried that he would not win there's in the past there's worrying you know and being awake at night being awake at night not being able to sleep and uh, just thinking about the worst possible outcome Again, I'm thinking lawsuits. Maybe this has nothing to do with the fact that he's the president-elect. Maybe in the past he worried about something else. Uh, what is in his mind? Or what he wants? Because this next part, card can have those two meanings. Whoa. The Ace of um, Swords. The Victory Crown. And the Basis is another victory. Uh, no, no. Can see that there's a victory so the basis is the fact that he's that he has one and what is uh, what's in his mind is this, is that i won oh my god i've won i've won i've won i'm the president i've won okay so for the next six months i'm going my opinion is that according to the cards is really happy to he's really happy that he's a winner that he won okay so uh the near future Within these six months, what is the card? It's a justice card. There's there's pro more problems with with courts, with law, with justice. There's more problems. Now it might be connected with the fact with the elections, yes, but not necessarily because he his life even before this was kind of uh, uh, in intertwined with lawsuits so there's something to do with lawsuits in in court and you know going to court and having something to problems with the law that's what i'm thinking him the way uh, the next card represents him the knight the the king of cups so again i have a very specific opinion about mr trump uh, I'm not, again, I'm Portuguese, who cares what I think, I'm not an American, my opinion means nothing. I don't think he's a nice person. Uh, so I'm going to read this card in two different ways, the most positive way and the most negative way, okay? So the King of Cups, in and because I do not use reversals, I don't like reversals, so uh, I give uh, all meanings connected with these cards. The in the positive way, the King of Cups is someone uh, in this case, af in this case, after the age of forty. Check. Usually, it could um, from a water sign, Pisces, um, Cancer, or Scorpio. Does he have anything in that? I don't think so. Uh, no, he has Leo rising, he has, he's a Gemini, and the moon is in Sagittarius, he doesn't have a whole lot of water, even his, in his, I think, in his draconic chart, I don't remember, in his draconic chart, his sun, I think it's in Taurus, in, what it, in his Vedic chart, I think, no, no, in his draconic chart, which is the chart of the soul, he has the sun in Aries. Maybe in past lives, people would... What is the draconic chart? Okay, the, the draconic chart is like the, the astrological map uh, which talks about our soul or what ha we have, how our soul is in this uh, up to that, that moment. And then the astrological, the, the, the natal chart is how our soul is growing. So... The, according to a book that I'm reading, uh, the, the draconic chart, if you think of the tree, the draconic chart represents the, how do you say, the tronc, like the, the, this part, uh, and that's this part, that, which, the trunk, the trunk, yeah, and the natal chart represents, let's say, kind of like a twig that's growing in a new direction. So the, the natal chart represents what, what we are here to learn. And the draconic chart, it's stuff that we already know. And in the draconic chart, he's an Aries. So he's used to fighting. He might have been a soldier, uh, 
conqueror, uh, general in past life. So fighting in war and all of that is like something his soul is very used to, which that's another reason the fact that he's been elected kind of worries me because that's like that's like normal for his soul. Um, and this is not. This is a water. I mean, I don't remember. No, ah, yeah, yeah, he has, he has water. He has Venus and Saturn in Cancer, which is an, a water sign. So, this being him could be that he dis displays the characteristics of the King of Cups, which are being uh, intuitive. Yeah, he could be intuitive. He could sense things, sense things without them being present yet. Which uh, he has an, uh, Uranus near uh, his sun, which would give him that. And in Gemini, he could have that, like, that ability of just picking things up and having very uh, um, picking them up before they were uh, known in the general, let's say, public. Um, he could have psychic abilities, yeah, he could have them, and very well developed. Uh, I'm not saying he's. Uh, I'm not saying that these psychic abilities could be used for the good or the coming good. Okay, I'm just saying that he might have them. The King of Cups is also someone who gives emotional support, someone who knows how to contain his emotions, and at the same time, time offering emotional support to those who need them. Okay. This is the positive spin. This is the, the positive view. This is a person who gives very good advice. But I don't see this in Mr. Trump. I don't see it. I'm sorry to tell you. A negative way. Uh, maybe he is like this. Maybe to the ones he loves. If he, To the ones who are closest to him. But I have no idea. Okay. The negative way. The negative. The least... Least positive characteristics connected with this, the king is this person could be an emotional manipulator because he picks things up, because he picks the way other people feel. He can use other people's emotions against them. So this could be a very skilled emotional manipulator. Someone, someone who, who knows how to lie very well. Someone. So this could have a positive way of reading it or a negative way. And if you're a Trump supporter, you're going to pick one way. If you're not a Trump supporter, you're going to pick another way. It doesn't matter what I say. Okay. Now, the card connected with the others, people who surround him, or how others see him. Oh, God. <laughs> he, has the, he has the moon card. So maybe others do see him as someone who is emotionally unstable, because this is the moon card. Uh, others who surround him, probably the people who are closest to him, might have understand that he is indeed psychic. He might be psychic. I, I, this is another card telling me that. He might be. He might have those abilities. Uh, this is someone who is seen as someone who Mr. Trump is, m might be seen by others who surround him. As someone who lies and cheats and deceives, this is not news. This, okay, everyone knows this. Okay, or another way of reading this card is people who surround him. People who surround him might be liars and cheats, and people who deceive him. Uh, people who cannot be trusted, but understand that like attracts like. Okay. I'm just reading the cards. I don't know exactly how his life is. So this is for the next six months. So for the next six months, he might be very psychically attuned. He might be extremely happy for the fact that he, he's won. Like in, in his head, he's like, oh my God, I've won. I've won. I'm the president. I've won. Oh my God. For the next six months, Starting kind of soon, I don't know. I don't know exactly when he might have problems with the justice. For the next six months, something hidden might come to light because this is another way of uh, another meaning connected with the moon card. I'm thinking WikiLeaks. Some sort of secret connected with his life might come to light. 
He might be surrounded with people who lie and cheat and deceive him. He might be surrounded with people who are very emotionally unstable. He might even be surrounded with people who are a little bit nuts. Okay? So, and that might be also the way others and the, the people who surround him or the general public sees him. Okay, but, okay, now the next two cards, because two cards came out, um, the next position, which is the ninth position, is connected with hopes, fears, and wishes. No, hopes and fears. Hopes, fears, and wishes, and also advice. Okay, let's see. First card. Ooh, this is a very good card. This is the... The moon. No, I'm sorry. The moon. The world. This is the completion card. This is a successful card. Again, I have to tell you. I have to remind you of my personal be bias. Bias. I'm not. I don't like him. I'm sorry. I don't think he's a good. He's a good. Uh, oh my God. Even to think that the Americans chose him. Oh God. But I'm trying to be objective according to the cards. But I need to 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 remind you. Okay, that I'm really not, I don't like anything that he represents, okay? But again, going back to the cards, this could be hope and fear and wishes. He hopes that if, if this lawsuit hopes this ends soon, he, anything connected with the fact, it could be a lawsuit connected or um, court proceedings or just its a um, court case connected with the fact that he's been elected president or something else to do with his business. He, what he wants, what he wishes, is things to end successfully in his favor. I'm, and then the next card, what is it? Oh. So, how do I see them? First I see them, I see this one, oh, I'm sorry, first I see this one, which is the world. And then I see this one, which is the Knight of Cups. Oh, God. <laughs> what does he wish? He, he wishes to be awarded that things are end in a positive way for him, in his favor, in a successful way, and that he is granted that, that he's given that, that he's awarded that, uh, awarded success so it could be something connected with the fact that he's been elected and there might be problems the next six months for him for him in that in that area of his life in the area of the presidency and you know something to do with the law in courts and whatever and recounting and whatever what he wishes is that that process to be completed in a positive way for him, and he is awarded uh, that success, or that that uh, it kind of feels like an award that uh, that completion, that that ending. Uh, he would feel it as like an award, as like something which is given in a very generous way to him. Now, what is the advice? It, can I read this as fears? Can I read this as... I'm not going to read this as fears. In this position, it could be fears. There's no fear here. I have. I see no fear. There's no fear. Wishes? Yeah, this could be read, read, read as wishes. Advice. How can I read this as advice? The advice, I would focus more on this card and also this one. The advice would be for him to change his way, to end the old cycle of his personality, to begin and to the to change the way he is, the way he behaves, and to be much more generous. The advice would be that be generous towards the people. And generosity, I'm not thinking about money. I'm thinking about in a, in an emotional way. Be open-hearted. Be emotionally giving to others. So the advice would be that also end your old way of being, start a new way of being with much more generosity of the heart. And this is again another 
water card in, the, in a, he has Venus in Saturn in Cancer and the highest I'm sorry the highest the way that Venus uh, Venus in Cancer is actually a very good position Saturn in Cancer not necessarily and Saturn uh, conjunct Venus not good but it could also mean that um, there is a loving a loving heart that is not shown it's kind of being repressed and the advice would be to show his loving heart which again my personal opinion tells me something else, but I'm reading the cards. Just just change your ways, be more generous emotionally towards everyone. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the way you are, the way the person is. Uh, not being present, giving emotional support, being generous towards others. And again, I'm not talking about money. The outcome. What is the outcome? Let's see together. It's the Six of Cups. Another six. Someone gives him something. He gives something to someone. There's a God, There's another reward. There's another... Or this might be indicating his younger son. So a loving connection with his younger son also. But I see only success for the next six months for Mr. Trump. That's all, all that I see. And again, this is a card connecting with generosity of the heart. My personal opinion tells me something else. Okay? And I, 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 I have no idea how will this will turn out. Something might be awarded to him. Something might be given to him. Again, this is might be connected with the fact that he's been elected president. And there might be problems... In, in the court of law, if the, actually if there is indeed problems in the court of law, he wins, he wins, he wins, okay, he wins. If it's not that, if it's another lawsuit connected with his, with his business, either he wins or he offers up a settlement to make things go away. So he might be the one who's offering something, and this, and he might be offering to a, a, this. This is children, so someone young, a young woman. But again, this is like everything is going to be fine. He's very emotionally, he's over the moon. He's very psychic and everything is fine. Okay, this is my, according to the cards, this is what I see from Mr. Trump for from December 2016. To May 2017. Okay, 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 okay. That's it. And, and then you can come back and tell me you got it wrong, you got it right. Okay, bye-bye. Best of luck to all of you and to all of us. Bye-bye.